Conservation practices at El Parata Beach face examination after a recent ecological study by Form 5 students at Beaufort Comprehensive Secondary School incorporated as part of their biology curriculum. The study seeks students' input and recommendations to safeguard the beach's future. We also have um, the students looking at the conservation methods that the government or whatever relevant bodies are um, undertaking at the beach and to analyze if these conservation methods are good enough or if what has been done is successful and obviously give their take on what can be done to improve these conservation methods. The point of the activity is to give the students, like I said, an authentic experience and we also want them to develop an appreciation for the environment. So. Um, at least a few of them will, you know, have that built in them and can actually do something to sustain the environment. I have seen the campaign, don't be a malpop, right? So we can jump on that and have them look at the beach, look at the littering and what is being done and come up with methods that can actually help with um, making our beaches more beautiful. The ecological study serves as a platform for students to apply their knowledge and skills in a practical setting. Taking them to the beach so they could be in the, you know, environment and they could um, actually use the different, um, the different tools like the quadrat, the transect. There will be classifying plants, classifying animals, drawing food webs based on the animals that they have seen in the area. Um, it's a very in-depth study. One of the students noted his observations during the facilitation of the study. We've seen the variety of species that have spread out here. We have yet to see any animals, but the distribution of plants we saw was very interesting for us. And yeah, we'll just continue to do the work and see what our results give us. Typically conducted within school grounds, the biology student-based assessments ecological study shifted to the field this year to offer students a hands-on learning experience. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.